We're going to start with video laryngoscopy or the GlideScope. Again, the GlideScope has a rigid stylet, which is necessary for the angle of your GlideScope to work. You place your stylet in your ET tube, and again, you will check your cuff. You'll inflate with 10 cc's of air. You'll make sure there are no leaks. And you will see that your GlideScope has a screen and the power button is here. This is your camera, and this is gonna help you see inside the airway. You will place a disposable plastic mechanism over the GlideScope before you place the GlideScope into the patient's mouth. You will hold the GlideScope in your right, in your left hand, I'm sorry, in your left hand, and you will place the GlideScope in the patient's mouth and you will watch the screen until you see what you need to see. So as you can see, this is the airway that we're looking for. When you see that, you wanna pull out just a little bit and crank back. And then you will take your ET tube and direct it into the patient's airway. Once you see the balloon go past the cords, you will pop the stylet just a little bit and advance the tube. At this point, you may take the GlideScope out the patient's mouth and making sure that you're holding on to the patient's the endotracheal tube, you will remove the stylet away from you and away from the patient. You will inflate your cuff and then without letting go of your ET tube, you will place the CO2 detector on the tube You'll place the bag on the CO2 detector and you will bag the patient. Again, you will be watching for color change in the CO2 detector. And also you will be listening to the patient's lungs to make sure that you have equal breath sounds on both sides. You will listen to both lung fields and then you will listen over the epigastrium to make sure that you have not intubated the esophagus.